Your brain is about to be packed full of knowledge. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind, part 15. American was the official language of the state of Illinois from 1923 all the way up to 1969. Gu Yuzin, a 53 year old Chinese millionaire, works as a street cleaner for $228 a month to set a good example for her children. A false awakening is the term used for a vivid or convincing dream about awakening from sleep when in reality you're still sleeping. Yang Huangqing, Lenovo CEO, received a $3 million bonus as a reward for record profits in 2012, which he then redistributed to about 10,000 of Lenovo's employees. He did the exact same thing again in 2013. The Savannah is the largest domestic breed of cat. It resembles a small leopard, but behaves like a dog. They can grow up to 18 kilograms, have an eight foot vertical jump, and can be trained to walk on a leash and play fetch. The Curiosity Rover sang happy birthday to itself on Mars to commemorate the one year anniversary of landing on the planet in 2013. Walt Disney holds the record for the most Oscars won by any one person with a total of 22. A man named Jonathan Lee Riches got the Guinness Book of World Records for having filed the highest number of lawsuits in the world with a total of over 2,600. When he heard of this, he then sued the Guinness Book of World Records to have his name removed as the most litigious individual in the history of mankind. John Lasseter, one of the three original founders of Pixar, was fired from Disney for trying to create three-dimensional cartoon images. Lucasfilm hired him promptly afterwards for being innovative, and Disney later bought Lucasfilm and Pixar for billions of dollars. A stock exchange system exists with pirates in Somalia. Locals can invest in a pirate group and after a successful heist will receive a reward. In one instance, a woman gave an RPG-7 to a pirate group and ended up receiving $75,000. Seattle, Washington is home to Beacon Food Forest, a city park filled with hundreds of edible plants like vegetable plants, fruit trees, and more. It's the largest free food forest on public land in America. At the 1912 Olympics, a Japanese marathon runner named Shizo Kanakuri quit and went home without telling officials and was considered a missing person in Sweden for 50 years. In 1966, he was invited to complete the marathon with a total time of 54 years, 8 months, 6 days, and 5 hours. Graphene is pure carbon in the form of a very thin, nearly transparent sheet, only one atom thick and is the world's strongest material. It's 1 million times thinner than paper but is 200 times stronger than steel. Glowing plants are the world's first commercially available bioluminescent house plants and provide enough natural light that they can be used as a functional light source. A study conducted by the journal Marine Policy concluded that sharks only kill 12 people per year but people kill 11,417 sharks per hour. In 2011, a New Zealand trucker named Stephen McCormick fell on a high pressure valve which lodged in his butt and inflated him to twice his size, nearly killing him. He did survive, but it took a full three days to burp and fart out the excess air. This is a painting by artist Jean Moreau called Painting that sold in 2012 for 23.5 million euro. I'm in the wrong business. In 2011, Maureen Wingers and her husband sued the Bank of America for erroneously foreclosing their home and won. And the best part is, when the bank didn't pay the fees, the family foreclosed that branch of the bank. When asked what his IQ was, Stephen Hawking responded, I have no idea, but people who boast about their IQ are losers. This is a sand cat. Adult sand cats look like little kittens, and baby sand cats look like... Well, smaller kittens. The creator of Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, helped to get two falsely accused men out of prison after solving their already closed cases. In 1998, a woman named Jean Therese Keating disappeared while awaiting trial for drunkenly killing a woman in a car crash. She was arrested 15 years later after bragging at a bar about having gotten away with the crime. In 1918, a World War I homing pigeon named Cher Remy saved 194 American soldiers lives by continuing her journey after losing an eye and a leg and after having been shot through the chest. Intel employs a futurist named Brian David Johnson whose job it is is to determine what life would be like to live 10 or 15 years in the future. Every year Thailand celebrates a festival called Loi Klatong where they release thousands upon thousands of sky lanterns into the sky as a tradition. There is a man that goes by the name of James Richards that claims to have traveled to a parallel universe where the 
Beatles never broke up and also claims to have a mixtape from that universe of Beatles songs called Everyday Chemistry. There is a condition called math anxiety which causes people to perform poorly in mathematics. Not because they are ungifted in math, but because the condition causes their brain to enter such a state where they simply cannot perform math. A man named Ramon Artigavita survived the sinking of a ship in 1871 only to overcome his fears 41 years later deciding to sail again only to die on the sinking of a new ship, the Titanic. In 2013, a man named Rogelio Ondeverd was abducted from his home right in front of his wife by two masked men with guns. Luckily, he returned two days later unharmed, but it was later discovered that he staged his own kidnapping just so he could go out and party with his friends. When they made Breakout for Atari, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak agreed to split the pay 50-50. Atari gave Jobs $5,000 for it, but Jobs only told Wozniak he got 700 only giving him 350 for his cut. Stalin's guards were so afraid of him that no one called a doctor over 10 hours after he had originally had a stroke resulting in his death. They feared that he might recover and execute anyone who acted outside of his orders. This is a Japanese dwarf flying squirrel which just might be one of the cutest things in the world. Russia trained and deployed about 40,000 anti-tank dogs in World War II. The dogs were loaded with explosives explosives and trained to run under tanks where they would be detonated except many of the dogs became scared and ran back to their owners trenches where they killed their own people. The over 9000 meme that was popularized from Dragon Ball Z was a translation error. The power level was actually over 8000. The Solve Hut is the world's most dangerously placed mountain hut located 3962 meters above ground level in Switzerland. An ancient Persian poet recorded the fable of a king that challenged wise men to make him a ring that made him happy when he was sad and sad when he was happy. They succeeded by giving him a ring etched with the phrase, this too shall pass, which is the origin of the famous phrase. Workers at Amazon's distribution centers can be expected to walk up to 17.7 kilometers per shift, picking up an order every 33 seconds. In Cuba, it's legally mandated that government vehicles must pick up any hitchhikers that they see. In 2000, the KKK adopted a stretch of highway near St. Louis, so the Missouri government responded by renaming the road Rosa Parks Highway. The longest possible uninterrupted train ride in the world is 17 thousand kilometers from Portugal to Vietnam. Al Scarface Capone got his infamous scars when he told a woman you got a nice ass in front of her brother while working at a bar who took out a knife and slashed him in the face three times. Studies have shown that smoking hookah is no more safer than smoking cigarettes and in fact may cause the smoker to absorb more toxic substances than cigarettes. There's a museum in Europe called the Museum of Broken Relationships that exclusively displays objects that were meaningful to heartbroken exes. In the early 90s, a young Bill Nye wrote for a Seattle sketch show called Almost Live. One day, they had six minutes to fill, so the host suggested that Bill talk about his passion for science and called him Bill Nye the Science Guy, and the nickname stuck. Mongolia's navy consists of a single tugboat manned by seven people, only one of whom can swim. Inventor Nikola Tesla and author Mark Twain were best friends and were mutual fans of each other's work. The sun and the moon appear appear to be the same size in our sky because of the amazing coincidence that the moon is 400 times smaller but also 400 times closer. In 2008, a Japanese man noticed that food in his home was disappearing so he set up a webcam and discovered that a 58 year old homeless woman was living in his closet for an entire year. There is a building in London called the Walkie Talkie Building that is shaped in such a way that it reflects sunlight like a giant magnifying glass literally melting cars on the street below it. Louis Garavito, the world's most dangerous serial killer with 140 victims, had his sentence reduced to only 22 years in prison and could be released as early as 2021. And that's it for this video guys. What a positive way to end. And I just wanted to take a second to give a big thank you to you all because my second channel where I upload daily vlogs as well as a lot of extras just hit 400,000 subscribers. So a big thank you to you all. That's a huge milestone. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go check it out. It's Matthew Santoro 2. There's a lot of extra content on there. And uh, check it out. I'm sure you'll like it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook and Twitter and give that like button a click. And I will see you all back here on Saturday with a brand new video. Have a great day. Peace. Who 
God, I needed the energy today. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching my new video and for sticking around until the outro screen. This is where all the fun happens, baby. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see future videos from me, remember to click the big red subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. I release a new video every Tuesday and Saturday for the month of January and probably beyond that, but we'll see what happens, baby. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel. I have so much content on there. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I do daily vlogs, product reviews, a mail series, Q and A's, all kinds of stuff. So don't forget to subscribe. It's Matthew Santoro too. There will be a link in the description. And that's it. Have a great day and I'll see you on the weekend. Bye.